video was I left here uh, in the tutorial so let's start with ETOTP where this is the OTP where I'm putting that OTP is when here is it. this is the edit text of OTP see ID is OTP and where I'm using it in four places this is where I have defined it as edit text then if uh, for it was those things are like if any error I am defining there if it is not uh, if it is equal to zero or nothing have been inputted then it will be like this enter valid OTP and this is where uh, this thing that the translation will happen so here it is send OTP post equals so basically here you have to put your server address where you are keeping your server side code ph in php you have to do it and here are the parameters you are sending in a json format basically you are doing it in background it's an async task so it will work in background obviously uh, merchant guy guid mid merchant key order id phone numbers these all you have to send you have to keep in mind and one checksum you have to s generate in your server side so basically the data you are sending here you should be uh, properly go to your server side from there by code you have to send it to their server to paytm server uh, they will give you those documents I think last time I shown you for QR code all these details. So oh, this is the way it will work. You are sharing the customer basically user placing the order here. POS system will generate a OTP means uh, no you have to give the OTP to POS system the person the merchant who is uh, making the order with you so uh, this thing goes to merchant server from merchant server uh, it generates a request for paytm for a transaction and from there the merchant comes to know that uh, the order is done then it sends uh, this thing to user that your money has been directed so this is the checksum generation code uh, checksum uh, it will given by paytm people to you then for wallet api this is the uh, this one is staging and this one is for the development purpose you have to use for production and these are the headers you have to use phone number otp and it should be in application json format in the server side and checksum mid you have to generate a request just like this the json code i am send, uh, sending to server this is what the same way it should go in this way from there it will be going like this so here comes all these things these details then platform name ATM, IP address order type should be okay so this thing is mandatory operation type should be withdraw money always and here you can see all these things which are mandatory and which are optionals so when uh, this response uh, you will get a response when order is successful you will see status as success status cause success all these things if it is failure then you will get a failure uh, response from them yeah so basically that's it and let's see the code so here you are generating this json data and sending it to this to your server with this link from there basically you are defining that you are sending a post request and uh, for HTTP connections then post execute you are just getting the response back here as a result so which one you are de defining there uh, is success there 
so that's